when I heard that there's a new bishop, I was quite excited and I said, I'm going to know Bermuda for the first time. So that is why I'm here. Well, certainly it brings a whole new dimension to our conference. Of course, it continues the presence of the Resurrectionist Fathers, but certainly it adds a more international flavor to our Bishops' Conference, so I was very welcoming of it. I'm happy personally uh, that we've come to the day of the ordination of Bishop-elect Wesley, and uh, I think it's going to be a great moment of grace for the Church in Bermuda. This morning, uh, following a very ancient tradition, uh, the bishops before to be ordained had to officially uh, make his profession of faith, which is an extended profession of faith, which includes also the magisterium of the church, and has to take the oath of fidelity to the Holy Father to reaffirm the unity with uh, the universal church and the ministry of the apostolicity, which means our church is universal church, but of course rooted in the Sea of Rome and linked with our beloved Pope Francis. This evening, uh, this will be a great gift of grace to the Church of Hamilton, Bermuda. You will have a new bishop, so he will be ordained bishop. Of course, the, uh, the main uh, consecrator will be uh, Bishop uh, Kurz, which is, uh, at, who is now uh, presently the apostolic administrator at the Nutum Sante Sedis of the diocese, and of course will be other bishop, and he will be uh, the new uh, shepherd, the new pastor of this church. To have a father, to have a guide, to have a brother, to have a friend, it's always a joyful occasion. Uh, the bishop is not only the one who leads uh, the flock, but is also the one, as Pope Francis always reminds us, who walks together with the flock. So a church who walks together. So it's so joyful that finally you have uh, someone who is with you.